welcome the next group, Breaking Barriers. Only 8% of students from low-income communities will graduate by the age of 25. 51% of individuals in prison are actually high school dropouts. And 52% of dropouts are currently unemployed and living below the poverty line. Yet, these are more than just statistics. They represent young people in our communities. And as a, as a community, we can't afford to ignore these individuals. They represent the young people that can go on to become future leaders, doctors, scientists, even engineers but it all comes back to an education. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, uh, sorry guys. We're trying to make these students aware that the decisions they make now will have a lasting impact on themselves, their families, and eventually their communities. When working in our uh, LGP, we started off with a lot of big ideas, like trying to tackle education problems, which were like, we just want to have every kid go to high school and every kid go to college. Like, that's not realistic, sorry. And in that process, we had to sort of, well, not sort of, but we actually had to narrow down what our plan was. And in doing so, uh, we became mentors in the process. One of the things that uh, we did along the way when learning about education was visiting the UChicago uh, Consortium of Education. And a lot of researchers there uh, helped guide us in step-by-step -step um, sort of instructions on what to do when working in education since it's a very interestingly difficult process when having to go through the hierarchy of things like the principals, the counselors, the teachers, and mainly the point of the whole thing, the students. In the end, we ended up going to Waukegan to college, which specifically helps tutor and mentor uh, the Waukegan, the children in the Waukegan community to get uh, to college. And we ended up having a little sort of fun activity when teaching them, you know, all of their opportunities that they have as children. And not necessarily that they have to go out and say, hey, you have to go to this selective school, more so along the lines that that's an opportunity. And you can pursue that opportunity if that's what you want to do. Uh, furthermore, we were looking into uh, working at the uh, Kingswood Academy in Darien and doing a career day uh, project, specifically working with <clears throat> different jobs that children weren't aware that they could pursue. And uh, at the end of the day, when working with the kids and uh, walking into college, we maintained uh, contact with them to this very day through email, and uh, we continue mentoring them. Yeah. So along our path, we were faced with both difficulties as well as success. Uh, we started out really broad ideas, as Marco said, we wanted to find the right tone to approach our students with. We knew we were going to be speaking about some sensitive issues like teen pregnancy and drug abuse relating to dropouts. And we wanted to make sure that we were approaching our students with the right tone. Once we actually established our content, we struggled with finding an area to actually implement our workshops. We contacted several organizations, and none of them really quite followed through. So we went back to the drawing board, back to step one, and decided to broaden our approach to the suburbs. I'm a volunteer tutor at Waukegan College, and when they heard about Green Barriers, they were overjoyed to have us as, um, to host our workshops. And now, after we look at some testimonials of our students, we could really find out what an impact we made. So here's one of our students, Sergio, who remarks that Green Barriers not only helped him realize the impact that education could make on his life, but also his whole community. 
And I think this all goes back to the goals that we set out to accomplish to help students realize that their education will not only impact their lives, their families, and their friends, but their whole communities. And students are also now uh, aware of the resources that are available to them. They now have a support system that they can uh, talk to. And I think uh, everyone here at the Bowen Scholars Academy has helped us achieve these goals. We'd like to thank everyone here, including our mentors, our families, who have helped us to achieve these goals. This has been an incredibly rewarding experience, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.